Hi guys, how are you? All right, so I'm getting my little baggies out. Or do I have a lot to share with you? Okay, hang on. I've got new little baggies. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Dolly. How are you guys? Looks like Sharon's ready to do some bidding. She's like, come on. Okay. Get those baggies out. Now I need my big baggies. Where's my big baggies? I probably pushed them to the back. I guess I'll use these ones. All right. <clears throat> so, as you can see, Hi, Patty. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Craig. Um, I am exhausted. Don't let me forget about this wallet, you guys. I've only forgotten about it for months. You got your prayer wallet, Patty? Um, or your prayer um, box? I'm so happy you like it. It's different, isn't it? Yep, the tables are back, Tam. And, oh, here's my bags. And they're actually, there's just stuff thrown on them right now. Because, I don't know if any of you know. If you don't know, you're going to right now. <clears throat> that my aunt passed away on Saturday. And my life has kind of just been devoted to her and to my mother since Sunday. My sister went over to the house that was my aunt's. Um, all the brothers and sisters met over there because it was very unexpected. And um, my mom could not get a hold of her. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. My mother could not get a hold of her. And she and my mother were very, very, very close. And as she was with her, with her other sister, the sister I called Jigs, my cousin Becky, that's Jigs' daughter, she's been in my chat before during my auction. So you might remember her as Becky Taylor. Because um, she's, she's popped into quite a few of my auctions. Um, they were very close with my aunt. And so my sister went over to the house Saturday night and saw my aunt that had passed and spent time with the family. I did not go Saturday. We went over Sunday, spent all day Sunday and what did we do Monday? What did mom and I have to do Monday? I can't remember what was done Monday. And then yesterday, we went and picked out flowers for to go around the urn. And that was very emotional for mom. And... Took quite a bit of time, but um, 
Thank you, baby. Thank you, Denise. Hi, Barbara. Um, and today I haven't seen my mom. I talked to her a few times today, but I haven't actually seen her today. Tomorrow was supposed to be a full day over at my aunt's doing some labor and some things. And then I spoke with my aunt who's kind of controlling um, what's going on. And I no longer need to do that, but the whole family's meeting over there at noon. And hi, Manji. Oh, Manji, I'm so sorry, baby. You know, I'm just talking about right now, I lost my aunt over the weekend um, very unexpectedly. And, um, you know, so we're going over to the house tomorrow and we're going to do a bunch of things over there. I don't want to get into specifics, but, um, and then I, I, I don't know what will need to be done on Friday until tomorrow, but Saturday is the actual service for my aunt. Um, and there's a lot I can't share with you guys. It's, it's been a very hard and emotional week for many reasons, of which I cannot share. But I've just been very exhausted and emotionally run down. And it's not so much... I loved my aunt very much and she loved me. She loved my granddaughter so, so much. She had two pictures of my daughter hanging up in, in her bedroom. She loved my granddaughter so much. And, um, you know, but I wasn't super close with her. Um, I loved her. She loved me. You know, we would visit when we see each other and, and, you know, um, but did I call her on the phone and go and visit her? No, I didn't. Did I make time out of my day to call her? Not like I should have. You know, that kind of guilt. So, I, uh, I'm trying to do as much as I can so that the other people who... Have incredible mourning for her, can mourn her. And, um, you know, the hard thing is just taking care of my mother. She is, she is having a really rough time. She's having a really, really rough time. Um, and there were certain, certain ways for us to tell specifically in which way she died because she we weren't expecting it she died very suddenly and um, I will share this thankfully she thank you Verna thank you everybody if I don't see your message or comment to it I'll read it later I'll read it later, and, and I thank you. Um, she wore a Fitbit, and I, you know, I wasn't there that night, but somebody said take the Fitbit off her, you know, before they they take her, take, take the Fitbit off her. And then when I was there Sunday, um, Somebody had mentioned the Fitbit, and my cousin Becky, who was incredibly close with my Aunt Gail, um, got on Aunt Gail's phone and pulled up the Fitbit results. Or her husband Randy did, or I, I, I'm not sure. But um, she and her mother, Linda, who I call Jigs, and Becky's husband Randy is just doing such an amazing job with all of this. And Randy is just 
he's doing so much for the family. He is such a godsend. He is just such a godsend. And um, we looked at the Fitbit on the phone. And she had, from what I could see, uh, she had even heart rate, right? And then at a specific time, I won't say what, but at a specific time of the day, it spiked. It spiked way up and stopped. And so I'm thinking, because she was battling cellulitis really bad. And my mom had this guilt that there was, you know, there was, if she'd been there, there would have been some way she could have saved her. And, you know, my feeling is because a Fitbit will record as long as you are alive and as long as you are breathing. And the fact that it spiked really high and then stopped, she, I think she had a massive heart attack and she died instantly. That is my, um, thank you, Anita. That is my belief. Um, I truly do believe that that is what happened and that she did not suffer. And she looked, from what I've been told, I did not see her body. My sister was there the first night. Um, you know, she... Everyone said that she looked very peaceful. So, um, you know, that's a blessing. But um, I know some of you have sent, many of you have sent messages and, and condolences and, and all of that to me. And I thank you for that. And I may or may not have responded to you. Um. I do, Barbara. Thank you. I do, Barbara. Thank you very much. I really do. Um, some I may have responded to, some I may not have, depending on when it came in, if my phone was even on, um, things of that nature. I've had moments of pure exhaustion, and I rested a lot today. So that I could do my auction and what comes after my auction. And I'm usually up all night on Wednesday nights. And so I rested most of today. So I would have the the energy and, and whatnot um, to do it. But I just, I wanted to thank everybody for the messages that I've gotten. Um and I appreciate it very, very, very much. And um, I actually, I found out, the only reason anybody would have known about it was I was watching Thelma's auction on Saturday after my auction. And I did all my stuff. I was watching Thelma's auction. And like a dodo bird, I got the call. I hung up the phone and I just typed into the, the chat thinking to myself, okay, I'm telling my friend what I'm doing. Not, re not, it, not registering. I'm telling everybody in the chat. Thelma Thrift, I have to go. I just got to call my aunt passed suddenly and unexpectedly. Boom, doom, I was gone. And so one person tells another person, another person tells another person. And so I was getting messages. And um, so I thank you guys for those messages. It's been very, very helpful. But it's been a really hard, hard week. And I, I was so low on supplies this week, you guys. I had to order like, okay, you guys know. These are the, the, the main boxes that I normally use to ship to you, right? Okay, well, I was trying to order boxes. And I accidentally ordered this box. So, 
in in trying to not be wasteful don't be shocked if you order a pair of earrings or you order a small pendant or or something that fits in this box if you get this little box guys it's it's not me trying to be cheap i just i ordered the wrong box okay and so then i tried to order the box again and then this is what i got like i said it's been an exhausting week okay so they are the same size but these are a pretty like van manila color these are ugly cardboard brown okay so when you get ugly cardboard brown in your envelope hey at least it's a box um it may look different hey you might even get one of these and one of these you might get three of these i don't know you know you could get one of these and one of these i don't know who knows um so you know i apologize for the diversity in boxes i have given up trying i would like to get a box in between this box and this box um but I'm going to wait until next week to order so that my head will be in the game. You know what I'm saying? And I, I've i ordered multiples of things this week. I, I ordered labels and I ordered a thousand of them. So, huge box of labels. A thousand. I don't need a thousand labels. But that's what I ordered. So just letting you know, if you get different size boxes, that's why. And I did, I did order some little bags. I didn't expect them to be this little. Okay. These are little bags. So maybe what will fit in this bag will be sent in this box. Who knows? So we're going to make the best with what we got. Because that's what we got. Yeah, no kidding. Right, Myra? So there it is. There it is. So. All right. And apparently at some point, I ordered, like, these trays right here that have the little hooks on them. Apparently, I ordered long ones that have 17 hooks on them. I don't recall doing that. I, I recall thinking that it would be nice to have that um, just so I can line up all my chains and my pendants, but I don't recall ordering it. But I did because I got a message saying they were coming. So you may want to stay off Amazon if you're exhausted. If you are in an exhaustive state, don't even go on Amazon. That would be a clue number one. Okay, now comes the time when I bring you in, which is probably why I never remember this wallet. Beautiful leather wallet. Ooh, something auto-adjusted 100%. Okay, and this way I don't have to struggle with my torn ligament in my right shoulder that's why i bring you so close really so you can see my chin 
Okay, guys, I have got a lot of beautiful things for you tonight. And I'm very ashamed to say I haven't cleaned anything. Guys, I am here in one piece. I'm here in one piece. And I'm drinking a monster so that I can get my energy level up. <sighs> Usually you guys really cheer me up. You get me, you get me going. And so where's my, I covered it behind my monitor. I need, oh, there it is. My Purell because I touched my face. To anybody who might be lurking, yes, this is an OCD. I, anytime I touch my face or scratch my nose because for some reason I have a scratchy nose during auctions. Okay, if I touch my face. I purel myself because I'm touching your jewelry and I don't want to bag your jewelry with my face smush on it. Okay. So, and that's love from me to you. Okay. Guys, I've got a lot of earrings. I still have several amber pieces and I know there are several of you. Oh, wow, Barbara. Well, I don't feel so bad then. Um, no. Thank you for sharing that for me because I, but I had to, I was, I was out of labels. I was out of jewelry boxes. You know, I was almost out of little plastic bags and I just, I needed it, you know, don't you know? I don't even know how to open this bracelet oh it's this side all right so what do you guys want to start on i have got five bracelets sitting here and i feel like this one needs a little a little scrub where are my gloves i scared the heck out of my husband with the rubber gloves one day no joke i did one of those Come here, baby. And he's like, hell no. Where's my gloves? Are they in my cleaning kit? It's just a little box of gloves. Yes, I use a pink fish tackle box that I tore apart. And it's my jewelry testing kit, which... I will be taking over to my aunt's tomorrow. Oh, there they are. <clears throat> All right. I still have more boxes over there I need to open up. So, what has everybody else been doing? with their week. I want to hear just a little bit while I take two minutes to do this. I want to hear what you guys have been doing. Besides Manji. Manji's been having a, the same kind of week that I've been having. Think outside the box. Barbara, you're so funny. You are so funny. Well, that was quick and easy. Now, where's my towel? I could use my shirt, but then I would ruin it. I've got this piece. Taking care of your sister-in-law. That's so nice, Tammy. Is she sick or? <gasps> Vanessa. 
Verna, that is not fun. The second part's fun. But the first part, not so much. Second part, not so much. Hi, Skylar. Hi, Denise. Oh, I said hi to you. I was thinking it was the other Denise. Oh, Barbara. I appreciate you so much. Oh, you are Dolly. Okay. Good. So then I can send out your stuff then. Did you already forward me your new address? This is the only other one I'm going to do, guys. And then take my gloves off and we'll get start to selling. We're going to start with some earrings, guys. We're going to do some amber earrings. Oh, that's so nice of you to help. That's what my mom and sisters do. They take care of each other when they have their different medical procedures. My Aunt Gail used to um, help my mom quite a bit. They would stay with each other when they would have a medical procedure and um, help each other out. And so now... It'll be me staying with my mom. Oh, Anita, that's always so fun. You know, I really enjoy looking at Christmas ornaments. It's just the actual decoration of the tree that, you know, like I just have a little tiny three-foot tree, so I don't really, you know... I don't really need to do anything much. All right. Look at this ring, you guys. We're going to do this ring in a little bit, but look at this ring. Isn't this turquoise ring beautiful? It's a size 7, though. That's only as far as I can get it on. But hi, Jude. But I have ordered, I'm sorry, my bra's probably going to show all night. I'm sorry. After the week that I've had, I don't, I don't even care. Okay. So, we're going to do some earrings. I know Sharon wants to see some amber stuff. So we are going to do that. Give me a moment to put my pin back into my board. And I will show you these gorgeous earrings. These measure sterling silver, of course. I will tell you if something's not sterling silver. These measure... One and three quarters of an inch. And they're really beautiful. Jude, you might like these. Quite possibly. I sure wish you'd have been here the other week. Boy, that stuff went like hotcakes. All right. I've got these backs on a little tight, so it's not going to, like, give them free reign. Let me loosen up the, the backs. All right. So these are one and three quarters inches in length. They're just little sunbursts with amber bullets. And I think these are so gorgeous. One in... Oh, thank you, Barbara. One and three quarters inch... In length, what does this one seem pasty? Might be cleaner. I might have rubbed cleaner since I can't remember what I did ten minutes ago. I could have, I could have cleaned these with the Never Doll, and it left some white paste behind. And I would just like to thank her since she's here right now, Miss Jude Direct, who turned me on to the Never Doll. Thank you, my love. Here's the back. Gorgeous. I will give you an ear view. I'm going to start these 
I'll start these at 18. We'll start these beauties at 18. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And I can't wear it. You guys, I probably have bed head, and I'm sorry about that. But, like I said, I rested a lot today. So, you've seen the front, and you've seen the back. Do I have an opening bid of 18 on these gorgeous? You're getting quite a bit of amber in these. Yes, Barbara, cherish them while they are here. My mother is having a very hard time right now. And I feel really, really bad for her. So the, the inner sun part is just rolled 925. But I think these are so pretty. Let me give you a close-up to the amber. Why am I always crooked? Well, my dad always said I was half-cocked. I think those are so cute. I'll have those if anybody changes their mind. You were reading someone's message that I didn't apologize for them holding my stuff. Bad, bad, Manji. Oh, Manji, you could not be bad. You could not be bad, Manji. You are just a love. That's, that's all you are. It's just a love. One more time, guys. Anybody in for 18 on these beautiful amber sunburst earrings? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'll put them back on the pole or on the board. I do, Tammy. Why? Did you notice? I do have a first and a second. I'd have to repoke the second. Yeah, I have a first and a second on this one, too. But I, I would have to really bludgeon myself to get that second that second open again. I haven't worn seconds in years. So, yeah. At one time, I was a rebel. And I had five up this side. And I did them all myself. And three up this side. Three up this side and five up this side. Yeah. But... I didn't realize it at the time, but because my childhood was, childhood was so turbulent with fighting and physicality on both parts of my parents, that um, I didn't know that a way to cope with self-harming and I you know I, I've said this before I used to punch trees you know and I would break my hand it was pretty obvious I had broken my hand I would print punch trees and then in school I had a brick wall just outside of art class and I would punch that brick wall repeatedly over and over and over again until I mean I couldn't even feel my hand let alone use it and um doing my ears it was like every hole I think back now I mean this has just hit me I mean like just now um because it was so painful and I would just use a needle you know and I was so rough with myself I think that was self-harming I think I did so many holes because it was self-harming. And then I wouldn't take care of them and I'd have to push it through, you know. And, and I used to just be really tough because the crap that would happen to me growing up, you had to be tough. And, you know, so it's hard to explain. Um, 
so maybe maybe that was just a way of of coping i don't know i just thought about that just now like in 52 years i just thought about that that maybe that's what i used to do i used to like dig my legs and i have, I have scars all over my legs and yeah It just, uh, that just, just, uh, that just hit me. Just now. Wow. Here I pay for therapy, or used to pay for therapy. I don't go anymore. And, uh, that happens to come out in my YouTube auction. Oh, yeah, Barbara, she's really close. She's just a couple minutes down the road. I mean, I can literally jump in a vehicle and uh, be to her house in five, six minutes. So she's very close. Yeah, Tammy. I I guess I never thought about it because I didn't. I never. And I wouldn't say it was an everyday thing. It wasn't a constant thing, okay? It was just when I would get so frustrated that I would get so frustrated that there was nothing I could do or just frustrated that I couldn't stop things that were happening. And then that's when I would do it. You know, when I would just get so frustrated, I would do something like that. And I never thought of I never thought of that as like self-harming because like, you know, I never cut myself or, or any of those things that, you know, people did. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Jude, go back out and come back in, honey. Cheryl, I had a hard childhood. I did. My dad was pretty rough. He was a very loving man, a very dedicated man, a wonderful provider at every sporting event I ever participated in. I don't know if he ever came to my musicals or not. He might have come to one. You know, just one for each each one. Um, but if you ever needed him, Dad, my car broke down. Dad, I need this. Dad, will you help me with this? He was great about it. But when he got mad, he was something else. And, uh, you know, that's the times you had to watch out for. But uh, I got to a certain age where I was like, if I'm going to get it, I'm going to give it. And then it became a two-person, a two-person event, if you know what I mean. So, but my dad stroked out, retired at 62, had his first stroke at 62. And with each stroke, he became more childlike. And so the last 10 years of my dad's life, I had a wonderful relationship with him, a very loving giving, uh, generous, um, caring relationship with my father the last 10 years of his life. So I was very fortunate to have that. Okay. These, these measure just a little bit over an inch long. And they're over a quarter of an inch wide. These are really cute. And I will start these at 15. Hi, Leticia. Okay. I'm not close enough. There we go. So you've got, these are hinged. Start at 15. These are hinged. So you will have... Everything's backwards. The amber on the top and the, um, what's it called? Not reticulated. I can't think of the word now. 
this amber on the bottom and there's you know a dangling in between so that they dangle see that fall down so you'll get movement on this bottom part sharon is in at 15. sharon did you see the first ones let me find the sweet spot guys That should be the sweet spot. Do I see 16? Her. Less talking, more showing. This should focus. Sorry, guys. Self coping. Huh. I'm going to call my therapist and ask for a refund. Said so my YouTubers got through to me more than you did. Let me show you on my ear. We all have to go sit in the corner together. Uh, um, we're going to go once to Sharon for 15 on these. Look at that. These are so pretty. Reconstituted amber. I like the reconstituted amber, actually. I like honey amber. And I like reconstituted amber. In this, I would classify as honey amber, not Baltic amber. But how pretty. How pretty is that? I like when there's more than one color. Yep. Cheryl. I think we all in those situations marry a man that's like our father. My husband was such a step up compared to my father. But in the early days, he was very controlling. Very controlling. And um, he's not like that now, clearly. Um, nor has he been in several years based on the person that I am now. Um, we're going to go fair warning to Sharon with these for 15. Um, quite frankly, because he wouldn't get away with it. And he didn't know any better. He had a, um, his mother was from Okinawa, 100% Okinawan which is an island off of Japan. It's actually owned by Japan now. And these are sold to Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Um, and his father was a gunnery sergeant in the Marines for 15 years. So a very tough, hardcore man who was used to being waited on by his Asian wife, which is her mission and her job and her culture. So my husband didn't know how to treat women. I mean, he just didn't know how to treat women. And, you know, so it, it took time. It took years to, to teach him and for me to learn my worth. I couldn't tell him what he could and couldn't do, what was acceptable, until I knew what my worth was, you know. So even though he was a huge step up, you know, I still wasn't being treated like the queen that I am. And my husband does so many nice things for me. He is such a good guy. He still got his asshole moments. But, you know, I cannot complain about my husband.
All right, we're going to start moving fast, guys. Congratulations, Sharon. Those are cute. Okay. Do we want to stick with the amber? Do we want to stick with the amber right now? I think that we do. We're going to stick with the amber. Sharon, did you see these amber earrings? Did anybody miss these amber earrings? Because I've got those. Just want to make sure. Oh, yes. Um, I'm very safe. Especially with my son living in the house. Because I'm telling you something. Anyone who would even try and hurt me in this house right now would have to fight the beast who is in that room, my son. And that would not be a very fun journey. Just saying. Because he was raised how to treat his mama. I'll never forget the day where... Why is this stuck? I'll never forget the day where he yelled at me for not doing something for him. Mom, I told you to blah, 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 blah. I'm not showing these because it's stuck. It's not going to lay right. Um, and it happens in every teenage boy's life, I believe, where they think they're too big for their britches. Uh, Tom came out of the bedroom and grabbed a hold of the grabbed a hold of the boy who was about a foot taller and about 50 pounds heavier and lifted him off the floor against the living room wall and said don't you ever talk to your mother that way you know and he says boy i'll fight you right now you might be bigger you might be stronger but i guarantee you i'll win and I think it happens in, in every, he was like 14, 15. You know, the hormones are raging. And um, he apologized afterwards. Mama shouldn't have talked to you that way. His dad didn't tell him to do that. He just did that on his own. And ever since then, he has felt like he's my protector. You know, so... Like, it's his job to take care of me. It's not. And I, the way that I am, okay, the way that I am, I want to take care of myself. You know, I'm not, I'm not, let me do it myself. I want to take care of myself. I'm going to fly by myself. I'm going to go to Chicago by myself. I'm going to do all these things by myself. So, you know, I can act like a grown woman. So these are an inch and a quarter long. And the big amber on these is almost a half an inch. In between a quarter inch and a half an inch. And I will start these at $16. One, six. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. I would constitute these as Baltic Amber. Sterling Silver, of course. I'll show you the bag here in just a moment. I think that's a right hood into any boy's life. That's when they go from being a boy to a man. When they learn that lesson. Look at the... I don't know what you call it. Leticia's in first at 16. I've got her first. Sharon, can you come in at 17? These are absolutely gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you what they look like on. I'm not going to put it on, but I'll show you what they look like up close. How gorgeous and swingy dingy. And you're getting two 
pieces of amber in this. I'll show you. Let me show you the back. There's the back. So you've got one piece of amber here, and then up here is a silver-covered piece of amber. Sharon's in at 17. Leticia is in at 18. Just absolutely gorgeous, guys. Just gorgeous. These would be a favorite. Sharon is in at 20. We are now in $2 increments. Do I see 22? Very, very pretty, guys. Very nice. You will be the belle of the ball in these for sure. Leticia is in at 22. You can't see anything, Wings. Refresh. Refresh, baby. We're going to go once to Leticia for 22 pending a $24 bid. You know what? I don't have my paper for notes. I can use this one. We're going to go twice to Leticia for 22 You think so? I'm I'm in StreamYard, if that helps. Fair warning. And that is sold to Leticia for $22. Congratulations, Leticia. They are really beautiful, baby. Just, just beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I'm going to go from earrings to a, a bracelet because um, I have a very small wristed bracelet. And I know some of you out there um, have very small wrists. Um, I am not one of them. This rests, rests, this measures two and an eighth inch across and two inches up and down. And I will give you, this is, this is how big it is against my palm. And it is wavy lined. Let me find my sweet spot. It is wavy lined all the way around. All the way around. And right here is your signature here. It was picking it up perfect on my sweet spot. 925. Well, it looks like Ken from there, but I think it should be read this way. And, oh, Mex. So it must be Mexican silver. So it tested sterling silver, guys. No, it looks like K-E-N or K-E-X. No, that could be an M. That could be an M. A younger eye could tell better. So I'm going to say this is Mexican silver, and it actually does hold properties of Mexican silver in that it is um, a thicker, sturdier, um, less flimsy type of bracelet. But you can still manipulate this, okay? You can manipulate it in. You can manipulate it out. So as long as you're careful, you can adjust the size of it. But I will start this at $12. 
Only $12, guys, for a sterling silver cuff. Mexican silver. And forgive my, my rough fingers. I super glued my fingers together again. I was repairing something. And I used my, my jewelry glue to do it. And I super glued my fingers together again. So you'll see super glue on my fingers. It's just how I do things. Do I have a $12 starting bid for this beauty? I cannot put this on. Oh, where's my little my little wrist thing? I don't know where my little my little wrist thing is. To show it on a wrist. I'll have to show you, like Leticia, that would, this would fit you nicely, honey. Let's see if I can get um, an actual measurement for you. Ah, uh, 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 there's that 20. I still haven't taken care of it. I'm going to contribute to the flowers that my mother is buying for my aunt so because she that's how and i'm not saying anything bad but that is how this industry gets the morning um everything is priced so expensively and she really went out on a limb for the flowers for her sister and she can't afford what she bought. And so I'm going to contribute to it. Um, get my brothers and sisters to contribute to it. Five and a half inches, guys. Now, granted, this doesn't go all the way around. But it's five and a half inches as it sits. And the hole, the hole is about an inch. So this would be like a six and a half inch bracelet. Yep, it's an exactly an inch. So this would be a six and a half inch bracelet. So it is small. Hi, Whiskey. How are you, baby? Whiskey, have you been watching my son's proficient fans? All the sports talk. Nobody interested? Okay, I can put this back. All right, on the bracelet, <clears throat> I'm going to show you this one that I just wiped down. And this is Mexican silver, too. Let me read what it says. Oh, Patty's in at 12. We'll go once to Patty at 12. Twice to Patty at 12. Touch my nose. Oh, Leticia, I'm sorry, baby. Fair warning. That'll fit nicely in there. And that is sold to Patty for $12. Congratulations, darling. Nope, that's not going to fit in there. By the time I order everything that I intend to order in its correct size, I'll be all set for a year. And that was to Patty Kane. Thank you, Patty Kane.
just going to put cough. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. $12. That's a great price for that. And now I have this beautiful thing on my head so I can see the little writing on this. Mexico 7C-304. Well, that's 925. That's definitely not the year. I used to think that number after the dash was the year, but it says 304. So maybe it's a style marker. All right. This measures two and three quarters inch. Well, a little, it's between two and a half and two and three quarters inch wide. Thank you, Patty, for that uh, bid, honey. And it's two inches tall. So this is an oblong bracelet, which we all know is my favorite because it fits more comfortably on my wrist. As we know, I have a large wrist. Now, these have gold accents on them. And you know what? I never tested these to see if these were 14 karat gold accents. But since I don't see a 14 karat mark on here, I'm just going to assume that it's gold over silver. But it opens right here. So this is how it connects. It just slides right underneath and pops through right there. So you're lifting this down to get it on and off. Right there, you can see the little hole. So let's see if I can put this on. I'll start this at 15. Oh my goodness. This actually, it's not wide enough for me, but the up and down part, I do have room. Do I have a $15 starting bid on this? This is really cute with the, with the gold accents. Get in there. Don't be, don't be fuzzy. Find the sweet spot. There we go. I can actually turn it. So there's the hinge. And there's the latch. Hi, John. How are you? Oh, hi, Kendall. How are you, sweetie girl? That's really cute. And there's the Mexico silver. Upside down, but you can read it. Let's see. You guys want to do uh, hinged bangles? Hi, Rita. That's what everybody's saying. They can't see me. Oh, Tammy, did you refresh and come back in? Let me go out and see if I can come back in. Stay with me. Hi, Tiana. So, everyone that 
Verna, you're in on that? Okay, honey. Verna's in on this. Let's see if it gets any better, guys. Hi, sissy. We're going to go once to Verna for 15. There we go. Do you guys think I should move to YouTube, cancel the stream yard and move to YouTube? This is sold to Verna for 15. Thank you, Verna. Do you guys think I should move to face Facebook? Should I go to Facebook and do this? Well, I, I, I jumped out, jumped back in, hoping that maybe that would help. Thank you, Verna. If anybody out there has Amanda Parrott's information, her email, can you give it to me? Okay. So I have got two hinged bangles. One is oblong, one is round. I'll do the oblong one first. And then, thank you, sissy. And then I will do the round one, okay? So, the oblong from the inside, I measure from the inside. Okay, Verna. I'm glad, honey. It's two and a half inches from the inside to the inside. It's two and a half inches long. And it is two and a quarter inches up and down and here's a look at what it is next to my hand and uh, itchy nose I'm telling you it's only auction time must have something to do with the sanitizer and here is the design it is so sparkly and so beautiful here's the hinge and I'll get to the clasp here in just a moment. But I will start this at $20. I don't remember, Kit or Cheryl. And here's the clasp. And I'll get that close. Come on. Focus. Okay, hang on. I'll get it. There we go. See how it's got a safety clip right there holding it together? So it's got the safety clasp. See if I can get the, I have trouble with these, get, getting these safety clasps off. It's just my fingers, guys. Unless they're super loose, I have trouble. Did I get it off? Give me patience. Okay, there it goes. So, I'll have to loosen that up. So, here's the clip. And then it comes off. And that's how it hooks together like that. 
and it opens and it's spring latched so it won't stay open it'll come right back let me show you the inside see if we can get it without it focusing on my face nobody wants to see that bags under my eyes for not sleeping for days on end Verna is in at 20. Thank you, Verna. Uh, Sharon's in at 22. Verna's in at 24. Thank you, ladies. I'm looking for any marks on the inside, and I don't see any. Oh, right there. Let's see what it says. Nine two five Thailand. So pretty. And then you can just put it in. Oh my gosh, this would actually, I'm not going to clasp it, but that's what it would look like. It's so sparkly and so pretty. We're going to go once to Verna at 24. Do we need to move this to, to face, Facebook, you guys? If you are having problems in the chat, put a one in the chat. We're going to go fair warning to Verna for 24. It is gorgeous. That went down hard. There we go. I can get it now. Finally not having problems. Well, that's good. All right. We're going to move fast and furious. So hopefully you guys won't have... problems oh Vernon you are welcome baby that is two hinged bracelets for you today I'm just going to put quotation marks underneath it and it was 20 was it 22 24 all right now i'm gonna do the circular one and then i've got this one to do that has azurite in it mm. you guys like that that middle ring that i wear this is azurite and i have a bracelet with this stone in it okay this round Measures from the inside to the inside. One and a quarter. Just a little bit less than one and a quarter inches. So this is going to be roughly. I need to order one of those, those bracelet measures. And I will. But this is seven inches. And this has very nicely a safety chain. And I'll let you get a look at all the beautiful diamond cut designs. I'll start this one at 20 also. Thank you, Manji. I love this ring too. I bought this ring from Jude. It's one of my favorite rings. Let me find the sweet spot again. This has got gorgeous diamond cutting. Sweet spot. 
come back, we'll take that all the way around. Do I have a $20 starting bid? I will open it up. All you do is you push this button and it opens up. Oh, I want, she wants, Dot wants Grandma Kelly to give her a bath. Well, if I were there, I would give her a bath. So it just slips. Slips in. Just like that. Locks. And then you've got the safety chain. Manji's in at 20. Thank you, Manji. I've missed you, baby. I was going to email you the other day and uh, see how you were doing. And then I forgot. Do I see 22? How many people are... Okay. I had Manji... I sh oh, shoot. I got Cheryl in front of Manji. I'm sorry, Manji. I only saw you. But I've got Cheryl right above you for 20. So, Manji, can you come in at 22? Cheryl, I'm so sorry. I didn't see your bid right above Manji's. I must have had obstructed view from my so skinny arms. So, Cheryl has the bid at 20, not Manji. And Manji's in at 22. Cheryl's in at 24. Do I see 26? There we go. There's a good view. So pretty. I love these bangles. Walk like an Egyptian. Manji's in at 26. Cheryl's in at 28. Do I see 30? Manji is in at 30. Do I see 32? Focus. We'll go once to Manji at 30. Dolly's in at 289 cookies. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry, I don't do in cookies. Cheryl's in at 32. Do I see 34? Let me see if I could get this like to be on my wrist. Ooh, I just won't shut it. Manji is out. Thank you for your bids, Manji. Cheryl has the high bid at 32. Do I see 34? We're going to go once to Cheryl at 32. We'll go twice to Cheryl at 32. The only way I can model it is if it's not shut. Fair warning. Cheryl, this beautiful bracelet is now yours for $32. Congratulations. Woohoo! Congratulations, honey. And don't worry. I won't be sending this in this box. <laughs> uh. Uh, that was funny. Thank you so much, Cheryl. You are going to love that. It's so pretty. My monster's gone. Oh, 
Uh oh, Dixon unplugged you. No, you'll get it in one of these boxes, honey. Um, why I'm looking over here, I have no idea. Okay, this next bracelet. It's two and a half from inch to inch. And from inside the cabochon to the end, it's two inches. So two and a half by two. And this is of Azurite. Azurite is a gorgeous blue stone that has that aqua green color mixed in with it. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, this ring that everybody loves so much and has tried to get from me so much, this is Azurite also. And you can see the blues in here with just a little bit of that, that aqua blue color in there. So, that's just got a little bit in here. Whereas in this one, you see quite a bit of Azurite in there. And I absolutely love this. And it hooks right here, right here in front. So it's easy to hook and unhook. Pink, pink thread just fell from it. I don't think it will fit on me. I can't even get my hand in there. Oh. Yeah, Cheryl, I like Azurite. I like Azurite, too. I'd never heard of Azurite until I bought it from Jude. And I'm telling you, the people that have tried to buy this from me, and I won't give it up. I actually got it on. It's tight, but I actually got it on. I'm going to start this at 24. Beautiful sterling silver. I'm going to take it off. And it just... Squeeze it and it just pops right out. Again, you are hooking it this way. I'll give you a measurement of the actual stone. So the stone is a half of an inch by a half of an inch. Just a smidge below that. And then it's got a simple band. Do we have a 24? Did I start at 24 or we'll just do 22. I can't remember if I started at 24. We'll just do 22. Okay. Starting bit of 22. It was either 22 or 24. We'll just do 22. Starting bit of 22. Really, really pretty. No markings on the back. Let's look for markings in the on the band. There they are. Let's see what do they say. They say we're upside down, you fool. And they're upside. No, they're not. Mexico 925. And then there's that line in TL 89, which I guess does not mean the year like I thought it did. It might just be the model number. So again, this is Mexican silver. Manji's in at 22. Do I see 24 from anyone? Maybe I'll swing this around and you can compare the Azurite. Verna comes in at 24. You guys know how much I love my Azurite. Do I see 26?
<laughs> Manji, I want your ring. I want my ring too, Manji. I want my ring as well. Usually, you guys can eventually convince me to sell off of my body, but some pieces are not for sale. And I was not a blue fan until I got this. Seven inches. So this measures seven inches. Out to Manji, Verna. We're going to go once to Manji for 26. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Thank you, Barbara. We're going to go twice to Manji for 26. Fair warning. Did I fair warning? And this is sold to Manji for $26. Yay! Congratulations, Manji. Do you want me to hold this for Saturday's auction, Manji? Which I need to talk about. It is going to be... My aunt's service is on Saturday, so it's going to be in the morning if I can get enough people. So I'm thinking like 10 o'clock. Ooh, Cheryl. Let's see, and that was 26. Thank you, Manji. All right, we're going to do... Where's my turquoise lovers in the house? Maybe I should do this in a little bit. Maybe I'll go back to earrings. Oh, these are pretty. These are um, red sponge coral. Now find me a ring to go with it. Until then, hold it, please. Oh, my gosh. Azurite's hard to come by. And this is on my middle finger, so it's like a 10 or an 11. Okay, this sponge coral... The sponge coral itself, not the 925 findings, but just the sponge coral itself measures over half of an inch. It is almost three quarters of an inch, in between half an inch and three quarters of an inch. And I will start this at, I'll start these at 18. These are gorgeous. Hard to find red sponge coral. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me turn these around. 925 findings. Pretty sure the hooks are 925 too when I tested them. I love the pits. To the pit. How can I show you the pit? I think the other side of this had a pit too. Or was it in this one? It was in this one, the other one. It has an even tinier pit. See that little pit? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Do I have anybody coming in? Okay, I will hang these back up. Let's do another pair of earrings. And I still have some amber earrings, too. And an amber pendant. We haven't gotten through all of the amber yet. Okay, so these are... Between a half a carat and three quarters of a carat, or between half an inch and three quarters of an inch. And these are solid back. So they're not danglies. They'll dangle down, but they're not going to have free movement. And there's the back, and there's the 925. The stone is open. malachite really pretty malachite and what's interesting about this malachite is that um it doesn't have a lot of striping from the top of the hook to the bottom of the stone it is an inch and a half long And I will start these at, oh, I'll start these at 17. These are really pretty. This one has less swirling in it. You can see some on the side. A little bit unconventional for malachite, but beautiful. Oh, that's okay, Manji. I appreciate you. I'm going to try and get as much done Saturday as I can. Um, my aunt's viewing is at 2. We have to be there at 1.30, which means that I have to leave about 1. So, if I had my auction at 10, I could probably get an hour and a half in. Um... So, I will do an auction Saturday morning. Manji's in at 17. Do I see 18? We're going to go once to Manji for 17. Manji, I'll look for a, 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 a Azerite ring for you. What size do you want it in? Going twice to Manji for 17. Honey, what size do you want it at? Depending on what finger you want to wear it on. Fair warning. And that's sold to Manji for 17. What size ring you looking for, Manji? Eight to nine. Eight to nine. I'm on the hunt, baby girl. I'm on the hunt. Okay. I'll take this off. Okay, I'm going to ask your advice on something on these earrings. Or if somebody wants to purchase them as is. So there's the markings. 
There's 925. Let me read you what the rest of it says. IUC 925CN or is it RUC? IUC 925 something and CN. Okay, so what the issue is with these, and I didn't notice it, I'll put them on here. I'll ask your opinion. These are lapis. These are all lapis. Tell me if you can see what's wrong. Let me get them focused. The shirt off my back? Well, you know, hey. So, I'm sure you figured it out what's wrong. This is missing right here. Right there. Now, I can sell these. For like ten dollars the way they are or I can take these two off of there and it would just leave a little hole at the top I don't think anybody would miss anything being there and put one of them down here and sell them for you know 18 to 20 dollars what do y'all think I should do Manji said $10. Manji's in at $10. She's like, I'll fix that myself. All right, so I guess we're going to go the $10. Do I see 11? Leave them the way they are. Do I see 11? It's a lot of lapis there. Well, and you can move it from up here to down here, which had I done that, I would have told you that's what I did. Oh, thank you, Barbara. I love you so much, baby. Thank you so much. We're going to go once to Manji at 10. Unless I see an $11 bid. We're going to go twice to Manji at $10. We're going to go fair warning. Whoops, wrong bag. And that is sold to Manji for $10. That's a damn good deal. Congratulations, Manji. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a couple of rings. So this is just on six and a half, size six and a half. 
There's the side view. And you have got a gorgeous turquoise ring with a beautiful oxidized setting. What size did I just say this was? Six and a half? And it's six and a half. But it is so gorgeous. I want to try and get it close so you can see the matrix in it. It is polished, but it does give the look of a little bit of rustic because it's got a couple spots where you feel like it might not be so, so smooth. Like you've got a couple little maybe indentations in there that are polished. But I'm going to start this at $38. It's got two little silver balls. Let's see how close I can get. Do I have a 38? Yeah. Do I have a $38 starting bid on this beauty? That's what I was thinking too, sissy, when I when I was looking it up. To see what type of turquoise it was. I haven't eaten yet today, so I'll make a sandwich after this. Okay, I will put this back. If this fit me, I would not be sharing it. Let me do this one. This is a beautiful citrine. Size 10. And this is the setting for citrine. Very 80s. Oh, you want to know if the turquoise is marked? Yeah, I should have showed the back of it. I'm sorry, guys. It's got a mark down here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's got a JJ subscribed in there. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's really faint. See that? It's definitely a vintage piece. It's a six and a half, Manji. Look, my nose. This has got my nose. Pulling my nose up. Oh, there's where the it is. It's underneath here. Underneath this setting. It says sterling. It's in between the two legs, let's say. Not this one, because that's too dark. Yeah, it's under this one. It's like they marked it and then they put the they put the band on it and they covered it up. There's some words right there. G is in at 38. Let me see if I can read more of it, sis. Let 
Not without cleaning it. Get this pin. I'm a slave for you. I will do anything you you want me to do to you. Jewelry. Jewelry edition. Didn't do a damn thing. Maybe I can show you the other side. So trying to show you that. I can show you better from here can you see under there okay well that's the best I can do guys I'm sorry I can't do any better I apologize but we've got Gianna in at 38. Do I see 40? Ah, let me write it down on my scrap paper. We're going to go once to Gianna for 38. I heard that, Dolly. I saw that earlier. Twice to Gianna at $38. Gorgeous. Where'd my little tiny bags go? There they are. Nope, those aren't it. You did, Nancy. I did not get. I did not get your email. I got your stuff still. Um, can you put your email in this chat? Will that be okay? This is sold to Gianna for $38. Thank you, Gianna. Thank you, baby. I honestly don't think I've gotten it, but let me really quick is is your name in your email i'm not saying that i haven't missed it i probably just missed it i'm gonna go into hip flipping mama find messages <gasps> Is that you?
I missed it, Nancy. I got it. Darn it. I'm going to put it right at the top. I'm sorry, baby. I'll send you something special in there. Okay, you're at the top of my email now. You're at the top of my email now. Oh, Cheryl. Nancy, accept my apologies, honey. I'm going to put a gift in there. A little 925 gift in there for you, okay? When I send out your... I'll send your invoice tonight. And then... Um, I got your, your two rings here. And... So I knew... Normally, if something happens, I don't hold on to things. But I knew there had to be something like that with you, and I held on to your stuff. So thank you, Nancy. I appreciate you so much. Okay, so... You're in California. Barbara, I can send out your goods the day that you, you know, you pay for them. Because my mail comes in the morning. And the last two days he hasn't picked up my mail. I've had to drive it down to the post office. So I think my regular carrier is on vacation. But when you pay, let's say you pay tonight after I invoice you, your stuff will go out tomorrow. Your stuff will go out tomorrow morning. So. And then you should have it probably Monday. Because a lot of people get their stuff on Saturday. When they send it out on Thursday. They get it Saturday. You being California. You probably wouldn't get it until Monday. Okay. So this was. A size 10. And this is a citrine ring. Now this is was very popular in the 80s, the late 80s, early 90s. Putting this type of stone, the oval stone, I'm sure it has a technical term, um, all together. A lot of times they would stack them. And if you see, these are slightly stacked one above the other. I don't know how else to. My mother has a diamond ring that's like this. So you can see the top ring's a little bit higher than the other. It tears down. Very popular in the 80s. Um, in the early 90s for styles like this. But it's just so pretty to have five large citrine stones like that. In a very, very pretty setting. And it's got some metal work right there at the bottom. And then again at the top. And I am going to start this at $32, guys. You're getting a lot of citrine in this ring. It's a size 10. I've worn this on my right finger. On this hand. It's big, but it, I know it's not going to come off. And then on my left hand, I can wear it on my middle finger. So it just depends how you want to wear it. But it is a size 10, so you can wear it however you want to wear it. Very, very pretty. Focus. I think it's focusing on my shirt.
focus better on this. That'd be sweet to live in a Victorian. There you go. Very, very pretty. No opening bids. Oh, Dolly. You poor thing. All right, guys, let's do. I've got several rings, actually. Yeah, Cheryl, Satrine is nice. Okay, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ring. It's a four and a half, though. I could probably get it all the way to a five if I tried hard enough. And it is an absolutely gorgeous setting. I'm going to start this at 32. You've got a turquoise. Beautiful turquoise. And you've got coral. This isn't the red coral. This is the coral coral. It is a four and a half. You could wear it as a knuckle ring or a pinky ring. If your finger isn't that small. But I just love the detail on this setting. So, so pretty. Do I have a $32 bid for this? It's so, so pretty. I found, Nancy, I found your one that you sent November 1st. I found that one. And so I will send you an invoice tonight. Okay. For the information you sent me on November 1st. So I'll get that I'll get that invoice out to you tonight. Cheryl is in at 32. Do I see 34? It is a four and a half, Manji. Just beautiful. If I could ever find a ring like this in an eight, you'd never get it from me. Let's see if it sits that way, it's a little bigger than a four and a half. Just depends on how it falls. Cheryl has the high bid at 32. We'll go once to Cheryl for 32. It's a beautiful ring. Absolutely beautiful ring. I tend to really, really, really like the, the settings that have the leaves in them and the balls in them and um, that kind of thing. I am drawn to that, either in earrings or rings. I've got some turquoise rings coming in that I bought for myself. We'll see if I like them when I get them. Going twice to Cheryl for 32. If I keep them or if I sell them. But they're gorgeous. And I, again, Nancy, I'm really sorry. I'm going to throw you some silver, a silver gift to you for the inconvenience, honey. It looks old pawn, Gianna. Let me show you the inside. And I'll show you the band.
So I don't see any markings. We're going to go fair warning to Cheryl at 32. I just go with the flow. And I say, it might be, gee, I don't know how to tell the difference. Yeah, I love it too, Manji. And that is sold to Cheryl for $32. Thank you, Cheryl. And I've got this one of yours too. Do you want me to send them after tonight, honey? Yeah, I will, Cheryl. I will get it as close as possible. I'll get it as close as I can. No, nope, Nancy, it'll, it'll be in your email that you sent to me. Um, but yeah, if you want to, go ahead. Because I don't know if your email's in that email or not. I just saw that I got an email from you. So I assumed I had all the information. So if you could send me another email, let me put my email at the bottom. Thank you, baby. Yeah, who doesn't want cookies, right? My husband brought home two things of donuts and then got mad at me when I ate three of them. I'm just like, what do you expect me to do? All right. This. This one stretched. This is just above the six and a half. More than six and a quarter, but not quite six and a half. And this is an absolutely gorgeous cabochon of amethyst. And then it has a thin shank on the back of it. And I will start this at $23. This is a six and a half. I'll put it back on here because for some reason it looks pretty on here. And it focuses. Hi, Becky. Hi, Debbie. Really, really pretty cabochon here with the twisted sterling silver. It's twisted on the very bottom, and then it's got another layer twisted. Really, really pretty, and I like the swirlies on the on the sides. I'm a sucker for silver balls and swirlies, and you got silver balls and swirlies right there. It's a beautiful dark purple amethyst. Showing gorgeously on the camera. So pretty. What did I say this was? A six and a half? Let me see if I can get it to a seven. 
and I bet you got hopes. And I say, I just go with the flow. I can make things bigger, but I can't make them smaller. Okay, so. It's still at six and a half. So it's at six and a half. Any takers? All right, I will put that back. Now I have this. This is a bypass ring that actually, I made smaller, but, uh, or made large, yeah, I did make, make it smaller, but you can make it larger. It originally came as like a 10. I've got it right now at about an 8, but this will, this will increase in size as much as you want it you just have to know that the more you increase it the more gap you're going to get in between what i call your leaves or your stems okay but as an eight oh 23 to manji thank you for letting me know i appreciate that we're going to go right to a fair warning with Manji at 23. Sorry, thank you for letting me know. I almost missed that bid. I apologize. And thank you for all of your help tonight. I really do need it. I really am going through an exhaustion. No one else is interested? We are going to count to five, four, three, two, and that is sold to Manji for $23. Congratulations, Manji. I'm sure you guys can see on my face how exhausted I am. Thank you, Manji. All right. Awesome. Thank you, baby. Oh, thanks, Barbara. So here's what it looks like as an eight. And I'll start this at 20. Just a flat 20. Does anybody want to see it larger? This is it at an 8. Anybody interested in it at a larger size? Thank you, Manji. Bye, sissy. Yeah, no kidding. Love you, babe. Cheryl, you know what? It is. Being with you guys does help. It really does. Let's make this in nine. Manji's in it 20. What size do you want it, Manji? What size do you want it? We're going to go once to Manji at 20. Okay. 
Do you want it a certain size, baby? Okay. Going twice to Manji at 20. Do I see 22? Yep, yeah, falls right at that eight. Fair warning. And then it's sold to Manji for twenty dollars. Yeah, that ring's not going in that bag. It does look like waves. Thank you, Manji. Okay. All right, let's get back to some amber. These earrings from the top of the earring, not including the French hook, but the top of the earring. You're welcome, baby. From the top of the earring to the bottom, they are two over two and a quarter inches. In between two and a quarter and two and a half. These are some different amber earrings, and the amber in these is quite large. And I am going to start these at $18. So you've got, here's your hook, then you've got your triangle on the top, your oval, beautiful amber, and then you've got a sterling silver dangle at the bottom you're gonna get so much movement out of these it's crazy let me give you a close-up of the amber now I'll show you the backs see the inclusions in there isn't that gorgeous Sharon is in at 18. Thank you, Sharon. Do I see 20? Here's the back. And I'll get you a close-up of the mark. 925. I love the little dangle. It's just like a little, I don't know what you call that. Like a little dagger. I know, right, Manji? I got a lot of cute stuff in. I got a lot more coming, too. You have no idea. So cute. We're going to go once to Sharon at 18. I think I said that already. So we'll go twice to Sharon at 18. Fair warning. Where's my bags? I totally lost count. Hi, Deb. Oh, good, Debbie. I'm glad. These are sold to Sharon for $18. Congratulations, Sharon. Yay. Second pair of amber earrings. Let me see if I've got one for you over here, too. Nope. 
Nancy, yours is going in that pile. Okay. I'm going to show you a pendant. Guys, let me use the restroom really quick, okay? You're welcome, baby. I'll be right back. Back. Well, all my stuff gets a, a light soap bath when I get it in Dawn dish soap. And it doesn't hurt the amber. All right. This pendant. Just the pendant. Measures one and three quarters of an inch. Just over one and three quarters of an inch. With the bail, it is two inches. Two inches and a quarter. So this is a large pendant and it's a gorgeous pendant it is a tiger's eye pendant let me get a let me find my sweet spot y'all there we go Tiger's Eye Pendant. With the bail, it is over two inches long. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I will start this at $28. I'll show you what it looks like. And it's got Mexico 925 on the back. This is what it looks like on. I 
So it is a nice size. What did I start this out at? Did I start this at 22? Isn't that gorgeous? It is so pretty. It is so, 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 so pretty. And it's got all those little silver balls on it. Any opening bids for 22, guys? Debbie, I'm reading your post. Let me find the sweet spot. There we go. $22 starting bid, guys? No, Debbie, I don't. I have a pendant, but I don't have a chain to go with it. Just need a $22 starting bid on this beautiful tiger's eye pendant. Lost my sweet spot. Okay. Uh-oh. You know what that means. Okay. Time for a trivia question. Oh, Manji's in it. Manji's in it 20. Vern is in it 22. I'll get it back out. Just this is just water. Yeah, Cheryl, that's what I use too. Verna has the high bid at 22. Do I see 24? This is really beautiful. I don't know why the sweet spot is so close to the camera. We're going to go once to Verna for 22. <laughs> oh, Patty. After this, I'm going to ask a trivia question. Manji's in it 24. Do I see 26? Going once to Manji at 24. Verna's in it 26. Do I see 28? Let me show you the back again. This has got a nice big bale on it. Here's the back. Mexico 925. We're going once to Manji at 28. Hi, Jude. We're going to go twice to Manji at 28. Again, this is over two inches long from the top of the bale to the bottom of the setting. Verna is out. Fair warning to Manji at $28.
and that has sold to Manji for $28. Congratulations, Manji. It's really pretty, honey. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Manji, did you want me to send your items out right away? Hi, Pages. How are you, honey? All right, guys. I've got these. Adorable. Just absolutely adorable. And they measure the stone itself is slightly smaller than a quarter of an inch. And I've got little peridot danglies. And I'll start these at oh. I'll start these at $13. Little peridot danglies. I'll show you the back in just a moment. Pretty sterling silver. Hi, Shirley Matthews. How are you? When do you see the next pair of earrings I show you? Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. No one interested in the peridot? Okay. And I say, you don't love me no more. And I go with the flow. All right, these don't have backs. I will put backs on these. I'll show you the back. First, they say sterling, and they say old. Now, I don't know if that's old pawn or if it just says old. Maybe I should hold off on these and ask, ask Gianna. Does that say old? Yeah, I'll wait on these. These were Marcosite earrings. But I'm going to show you these earrings. You're going to love these earrings. These earrings are an inch and a quarter long. And they have got quite a bit of sterling silver. And a nice size cabochon on each. Hi, Beth. A nice size cabochon of amethyst on each one. So they're really, really pretty. Gorgeous. You can tell that they're purple. They look more periwinkle, but they are a, a deep... They're a deep purple. They're not as dark as that that other cabochon amethyst I showed you earlier. But I'll start these at 18. You're getting nice cabochons with a little heart setting with a droop. That is really, really adorable. I'll show you the back. Here's the back. There's the 925, which, you, as you know, I test everything. I'll give you a real close-up of this. Just really pretty, pretty dangle earrings. 
Do I have a starting bid of 18? You do have a nice size amethyst in each one of these. Really, really pretty. How you doing, Beth? I'm sorry I didn't get back to you, honey. My life has been really chaotic. Okay, we'll put these back. Let me show you an amber pendant. I haven't picked a chain out for this yet, so I have to sell it to you. Just the pendant. Oh, I don't have it all the way through the hole. It's got two bales in the back. And it's got regular amber, honey amber, and, and uh, Baltic. Nope, I guess that's reconstitu reconstituted. So it's got reconstituted honey amber and Baltic amber. And I would start this at 18 too. Beautiful pendant. I'll give you the size. From the top of the bale, it's got really nice dangling on this too. It is just an inch, exactly an inch long, you guys. Do I have any bids for 18 for this? Really pretty. Here, let me take it off. There we go. I'm a big girl, so it'll look bigger on you. But how pretty. Really, really pretty. I've got that amber. Let me see if I have any more amber. I can't get that in my board. Oh, let me do these. This is citrine. And... Oh, I thought those were smoky, but I guess not. They're both citrine, just different colors citrine. I'll show you the back first. No marks, but the bottom is hinged to the top. And here they are. You've got quite a bit of carrotage, carrotage, carrot in these two, in these two earrings. These are both citrine, just different colored citrine. I thought for sure that top was going to be smoky topaz, but it is citrine, just a different color. Yep, that is. A really good representation of the colors. And I'll start these at, these are quite large representations of these stones. I'll start this at 22, which is still a ridiculously cheap price. Very, very cheap price. This is what it would look like. 
in the ear. So you can see how large of a stone you're getting in both stones. The top one is a round cabochon. And the bottom is in a pear-shaped or teardrop. Do I have an opening bid on these? $22? My husband finally turns the freaking heat on. I have been freezing all day. They just turned the heat on. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. They are pretty back. Super pretty. Gorgeous. I don't know if I just showed you these. I think I did. Dangle. Parados. I think I already showed you. Let me show you these. These are pretty. These are one line under an inch. So between three, put it on backwards, between three quarters of an inch and an inch. Oh, Verna's in at 22. Okay, Verna. We're going to go once to Verna at 22. Twice to Verna at 22. These are so gorgeous, baby. Fair warning. And those are sold to Verna for 22. Thank you, baby. Fastest countdown ever, right? Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. They are beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay, I know I probably measured these, but these are in between one and uh, three quarters of an inch and one inch long. And these are onyx, onyx earrings, and they're posts. And I will start these at 16, one six. These are so beautiful. I love when they've got the twisted silver at the bottom of the foundation of the setting. I just love that. See the twisted silver? And then, of course, it's got the three balls. Mama likes her balls. I like my balls. I like my balls. Do I have a $16 bid for these babies? Oh, we got to do our trivia question. Okay. Trivia question. In the beginning of the auction, in the, in the pre-time, I was talking about my aunt that had passed away. What was her name? What was her name? I mentioned it a few times. No? Okay. I'll give you a second question. Mm 
what day is her service? Go. <clears throat> what day did I say was her service? Okay, Becky got the name, Gail. What day is her service? Saturday. So Dolly got <clears throat> Dolly got the day and Becky got the name. So we got Becky and Dolly with free shipping. Okay. That's okay, Manji. All right, guys. I'm going to show you these. These measure from top to bottom between a half an inch and three quarters of an inch. And these are really, really cute studs or posts. They're on a post. And the top is a genuine pearl. That is a real pearl with a hinge. And then these are amethyst. And I will start these at $18. One eight. You're getting some really pretty amethysts in here, guys. Real pearl, real amethyst, real silver. Actually, probably be lower on you guys. So pretty. Oh, how sweet, Patty. That is so sweet. Do I have an $18 starting bid, guys? I love that there's a hinge on these because it'll give that amethyst some movement. So pretty. All right. It is 930 already, guys. I've got... To keep moving. See, what else do I have that's new that y'all have not seen? I just showed you those. Debbie, are you still in here? Debbie. I do have uh, gold over silver earrings. I'll save these for her. Okay, hang on, baby. I'll get them for you. Now I'm getting roasted in here. I'm getting roasted in this room like a turkey. On Thanksgiving. Oh, no. Those are peridot danglies. They look just like the other ones from behind. Did I? What did I do with them? There they are. Nope, those are pearl and diamond. Here they are.
Let me undo the back so tight. And these were $18 start bid back. Crooked. They're between a half an inch and three quarters of an inch. Oh, good. Becky's in for these at 18. Thank you, Becky. Do I see 19? Oh, Tammy, I'm so happy. Going to go once to Becky at 18. I'll go twice to Becky at 18. Or did I already go twice? Fair warning to Becky. A lot of people, Cynthia, a lot of people's YouTube has gone crazy. Hey, Suze. And those are sold to Becky for $18. Thanks, Beck. So really beautiful. Thank you, baby. All right. Now these next ones, I'm going to start at, let me just. Okay, so these are CZs. They're not diamond. But they are real. They're real pearl. I pureled it because I put it on my tooth. Okay, these measure top to bottom. In between a quarter and a half. Exactly in between a quarter and a half. So about three eighths of an inch. And I will do a, I'll do a $10 starting bid on these. They're CZs. Beautiful, beautiful pearls. Do I have a $10 starting bid on these? I can put those back up that I accidentally took down. Because when I hang a post, I put the pin through the backings and so it all is backwards to me when I'm looking at it. Let's see about these. These are, I would consider this a stud. This is a round quarter of a little bit bigger than quarter of an inch on a post. It is a sterling silver surround with a garnet in the middle. And I'll start these. I'll start these at 10 as well. They look like a cat's eye for some reason. Oh, it's because of the camera. There, you can get a better color. When I bring it up close like this, you're getting the camera in there. I'll start these at 10 too. Let 
Or these would be good for second holes. Let's see. Let's do this chain. Oh, this is such a pretty Laramar. This pendant without the bail measures over half of an inch with the bail. It measures just under one inch. I believe this is an 18 inch chain. Yes. Has a spring ring clasp on it. Here's your chain. Here's your pendant. With the bail, it is an inch long and it is Laramar. And I will start this at, oh, I'll start this at 20. Pretty little Laramar pendant. Don't drop us in the hamburger grease. So that's what it would look like on you. Very pretty. 18 inch chain. Tammy's in at 20. Thank you, Tammy. Do I see 22? Oh, I forgot I've got a whole thing back here. So this, all of this stuff, I'll get to this stuff here in just a second. Totally forgot about it. Cheryl's in at 22. Do I see 24? Show you the back. Don't you flip. Tammy's in at 24. Do I see 26? There's the back. We're going to go once to Tammy at 24. This is a pretty, pretty pendant. Twice to Tammy at 24, pending a $26 bid. How cute that is. Hmm. Fair warning. And that is sold to Tammy for $24. Thank you, Tammy. Congratulations. Thank you, baby. All right. I got that chain too. Let's do these. Oh my gosh, let's do this too. And we'll save that one. Maybe I'll do choice on those. 
This is 18 inches. Lobster claw class. It's about 17 and three quarters. It is on a Figaro chain. And that's about an eighth of an inch wide. See if I can get this to lay right. And then here is your amber. Why is that flip backwards? I don't know. Let me spread this out. I've got one side laying right and one side laying wrong. What am I doing wrong? Is it on backwards? That would do it. If I have it on backwards. Okay. Hang on. Wonder if I clasped clasped them incorrectly. Let me see. No, they are fine. All right, here we go. So you've got your Figaro chain. I don't know why this isn't laying right. I had it laying right before. There we go. And then you've got uh, three different kinds of amber in this chain. I'll start this chain at 24. And it's got Baltic Amber, three Baltic Ambers, and then one down here, and it's got two Normal or Honey Ambers, and it's got two Reconstituted or Green Amber. And this is really pretty. 17 and three quarters of an inch. Of course, because it is lobster claw clasp, you can put an extender on it if you choose. And this is what it looks like. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Do I have a $22 start bid? I'm trying not to move. It's really pretty. I don't know if I can get it to set on this. Or not. $22 starting bid. This is uneven, but that is okay. Isn't that pretty? Three different kinds of amber. And Manji's in it 22. Do I see 24? And it's on a filigree chain or Figaro chain, too, guys. Figaro chains are so pretty. We're going to go once to Manji at 22. We'll go twice to Manji at 22. Cognac Amber, Citrine Amber, and Green. 
Butter Amber's more real. Isn't that interesting? That's really interesting. Fair warning to Manji at 22. It is really pretty. And that has sold to Manji for 22. Thank you, Manji. Thank you, thank you. Cherry Amber, that's pretty. Oh, so you didn't see the pearl and the amber? Or the pearl and the amethyst? Did you want to see it really quick? Yep, they are. Beck, do you want them for 10? Hi, Cody. These ones, Beck? Yep, Beck, I can give you those for 10. Okay, wait for this next item. All right. Are you ready? This is an 18-inch chain, beautiful box chain. It might be about 18 and a half inches. It's got a spring ring clasp. And beautiful box chain. And it's got a two inch cross on it. I think it's two inches with the bail. Let me check. But you've got your Baltic amber, your honey amber in the middle, and your reconstituted on the sides. Really, really pretty. And the this, this sterling silver is just so, so shiny. Let me show you the back. And I will start this at 24. You're getting a gorgeous chain with this. A beautiful cross. And three different kinds of amber. You're getting five pieces of amber in this. Do I have a starting bit of 24? Yep, it is two inches with the bale, an inch and a half without the bale. And this is what it looks like on. So pretty. So gorgeous. Super pretty. Super, super, super pretty. All right. This bracelet's got a little bit of weight to it. Oh, my goodness. Let me weigh it for you before I show it to you. It's not a charm bracelet, but you could hang some charms from the jump rings. 17.26 grams. And this is 
the lobster claw clasp. And I'll give you a side view. This is Noah's Ark. So you've got two of each animal boarding the ark. And I will start this at $25. And it has got some weight to it, guys. You're getting a lot of sterling silver. So you've got the ark. Maybe I can get four fingers in here. You've got the ark here. And then you've got two giraffes. Two mice, er, two deer, a male and a female, a buck and a doe, two hippos, two turtles, two monkeys, two elephants. Two lions, two, those look like horses, horses, if those are elephants, then what are these? Oh, these are rhinos, these are rhinos, and those are elephants. Again, almost 18 grams of silver on this bracelet. Do we have a $24 starting bid? It's a beautiful bracelet. Let me show you the, the back of it. There's the 925. Manji's in at 24. No other pieces have markings on the back. But it's so beautiful. Really, really pretty. Let me see how long it is. Seven and a half inches. We're going to go once to Manji at 24. We'll go twice to Manji at 24. So pretty. Fair warning to Manji. Manji, do you want me to send your stuff right away, honey? Or hold it for Saturday? I'll be doing my auction Saturday morning, probably about 10. And that is sold to Manji for $24. Thank you, Manji. All right, what else do I have? Oh, I've got this cute ring. Mother of Pearl ring, what I do with my... This is six and three quarters. Just above a seven. And this is Mother of Pearl. Really pretty Mother of Pearl. I love these settings when they've got leaves and, and balls and they're ornate. I love those kinds of rings. 
it does have flash to it i don't know why the picture's not picking it up but i will go 20 on this it is so gorgeous see the leaf and it's got balls in the leaf it's just gorgeous first person that puts 20 in the chat gets it first 20 i see gets it really pretty and tammy's got it thank you tammy super super pretty maybe i'll do the rest of my stuff tonight like that Should I start doing my stuff like that, guys? Thank you, Tammy. I have got so much stuff here. Did I show you these earrings earlier? I don't know, but I'm going to show them to you now. And actually, this needs a little bit of a, a bend, a correct bend. Oopsies, I did it way too short. give up hang on because I have got flattening that's better Much better. Okay. So the back of these, I like mine curve better. So the back of these hook like this, where you put them right there and it hooks it. Which I will undo so I can show you. And they're not wanting to sit right. These are really nice sized amber earrings. And I'll start these, if anyone's interested, at $17. The reason I'm starting them at $17 is they are slightly different colors. I'll try and point them in towards each other. Where one is just a little bit more Baltic looking than the other. But nobody's going to know when they're in your ears. 
So I will start these at $17, one, seven. And this is how it would sit in your ear. Very, very pretty. And I'll show you the hoops since I fiddled with them. There are the hoops. The one was all bent out of shape. And now they're even. Do I have a $17 starting bid for those? They're so pretty. Let me close these up. I think it's so neat when they've got that closure. It just makes it so safe. Whoopsies. Yes, they didn't go under the desk. I'm going to go over here. Let's do a long chain. I think this is a 22 inch. And I've got these two. I'll show you these two also. Oh no, it's 10 o'clock, guys. I gotta be winding this up. This is 24 and a half inch chain. It's got lobster claw clasp. It is a rope chain. It's a thinner rope chain. What I would consider an open rope. But it just looks like a rope. A regular rope from afar. Unless you're looking at it under a microscope like we are right now. You're not going to tell. That's got a little bit of openness to it. It's 24 inches long. And I will start this at $30. It's a beautiful, beautiful chain. You can easily put a pendant on this. Twenty four and a half inches. I've got a long box chain as well. <laughs> and this is 24 inches. And this is a spring ring. And I can start this beautiful box chain. I can start this at 30 also. And here's the box. Very nice box chain, 24 inches. Playing with your Yorkies, what? 24 inch box chain for 30 or this 24 and a half inch open rope for 30 you get choice
Okay. I will put those back up. How long of a chain are you looking for, Manji? How long, Manji? <laughs> My hair. Oh. I've got these two also at choice. And we'll start these choice at $25. These are round omegas. This one, I don't know if this one's technically an omega, but it's super sparkly and it's built just like an omega. You want these on or you want the other chain? Okay. Twenty four is barely fit over my big head. Okay, so There's the box. This is the box. It's got the clasp right there. So you can see how shiny it is. And then here's the open chain. Open rope. And it's also got the box, the clasp right there. That's the open rope. And that's the box. Here. And I'm not gonna put them over my head again. I'm gonna take them off with the clasp. The box for 30. Okay. I don't think anybody else was interested in it. So you got the box for 30. All right. Welcome, honey. <clears throat> Thank you. Manji, do you want me to send this out right away? This is a cute necklace. <clears throat> My voice is going to go. Put that there. Okay. These were six, 
17 and 17 and a quarter. I'm not sure. First, you guys can tell me if you're even interested. If I started these at choice. So that's a round omega. And then the really flashy one, I'm calling it omega because it's built just like an omega. If anybody's interested in these at a $25 start bid, you have choice. I'll measure them. But I'm pretty sure this one's 17 and a quarter. And this one's 17. And oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Let me do these two bracelets. Oh, so cute. Now the heat's really coming. This is seven inches. Spring ring clasp. Let's see if you can tell. It's got little, well, they're upside down. It has little elephants on it. And I will start this at $16, one six. Little elephants all across it. See their little tails are hooked. They make the uh, the hook for the jump ring, and their trunks make the hook for the other jump ring. Isn't that adorable? Who doesn't want an elephant bracelet for sixteen dollars? That is so cute. So, so cute. And then I've got this one that I'll start for 16. It's Cheryl, I think it's seven. Was it seven inches or seven and a half? Let me measure it again. Night, Tammy. Love you. Seven inches. Exactly seven inches, Cheryl. And this one. Is exactly seven inches. With a lobster claw clasp. And this one I'll start at 16 also. This has got a super pretty pattern. It's 7 inches, Cheryl. And this one that has a lobster claw clasp is 7 inches also. And this is the pattern on this one. And I'll do choice between this one and the elephant for 16. This one's really pretty. Very, very elegant. And we'll do choice of $16. Well, I got to fix that so you can actually see the elephants. There we go. So you've got an elephant chain here, seven inches, or you've got this that's seven inches. It's got a really pretty twisted silver design, very delicate and intricate looking, very, very pretty, very feminine.
And I think this is going to be the last pieces for tonight, guys. So that I can get you your invoices tonight before I collapse into bed. So thank you, everybody. And Nancy, I will get you your invoice too. I promise. And if anybody's got Amanda Parrott's email, or if you could let Amanda Parrott know that I'm trying to, to email her a, an invoice, that would be wonderful. But okay, so I'm going to do your invoices now. Sorry. Oh, so sorry, so sorry. I'm going to do all your invoices right now. So, oh, thank you, Cody. And so that you will have them very soon. And Manji, I need for you to say yes or no. Do you want me to mail your jewelry right away? I'll hold it until Saturday if you want. But after Saturday, it'll get mailed. Oh, thanks, Cody. Oh, thanks, Sharon. Mwah. All right, guys. I will see you on Saturday. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow, Thursday at 7 o'clock Eastern. I am going to be calling an auction for Gianna. I plan to be home at 7 o'clock um, to call an auction on Gianna's channel, Gianna Little White Man. So I should be home from my aunt's house and doing inventory and whatnot um, by 7. So I'll be calling her auction tomorrow on her YouTube, which is uh, Gianna Little White Man. So, all right, guys, I will see you tomorrow over at her channel. And then Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern, most likely from 10 to noon, I'll be doing my auction early because of my aunt's service. So, I will see you tomorrow night and then Saturday morning. All right, guys, I love you, and thanks again for all the support, guys.